Hello there. A Life Church in Tucson is honored to provide these daily readings in our Life Transformation Discipleship Plan. Find out more at alivechurch.com slash transformation. Our focus this week is on honesty and integrity. My life is characterized with honesty and integrity. I will allow God to influence every aspect of my life down to the practical details of every ordinary thing I do. I will not do anyone any wrong or take advantage of anyone. As I live a life of honesty and integrity around others, my conduct will cause them to see Jesus. I am God's very own possession. He has called me out of darkness into his wonderful light. And as a result, others will see the goodness of God in me. As I live in honesty and integrity, I will also be an example for other Christians. I will exercise self-control, balance, and common sense in all areas of my life. I will set an example by doing what is good. Then my life will give greater impact to my words. My integrity will come from careful Bible study and a faithful prayer life and will be an example to others of Jesus. My life is characterized with honesty and integrity. My relationship with Jesus Christ has dramatically transformed every area of my life. I once was separated from God by sin, but now my relationship with God is made right because of the cross of Jesus Christ. Others can see his life in everything I do and say. My actions and my desires demonstrate God is at work within my heart. My allegiance to honesty and integrity is a natural byproduct of my total commitment to Jesus. I belong fully and completely to Him. Because of this commitment, my life will bear fruit that represents Him and His character. My life is no longer centered on personal gratification, nor is it built on the power of self-determination. Rather, God supplies the power for my daily living. Anyone can say he has faith and yet remain in a lifestyle of selfishness and worldliness. But faith that saves proves itself in the actions of everyday living. Therefore, I will live out my faith in such a way that my actions prove my faith. I'm a new creation in Christ Jesus to do good works that he prepared in advance for me. Just as he created the universe from nothing, he has taken my old sinful life and made me a new creation. Because I'm a new creation, I've been given a purpose to do his good works. Not only do I call Jesus Lord, I also commit my life to him by doing the will of my loving Heavenly Father. Therefore, today, my walk will match my talk as I follow him. In order to live a life of honesty and integrity, I will always make God's word the standard by which I live. I will invest a part of each day knowing and understanding God's word. My knowledge will not be to simply gather information, but to experience transformation. Because he has transformed me, today I will live a life of honesty and integrity. Everything I do and say will reflect my faith, his word, his love. My life is characterized with honesty and integrity. Day four is live with integrity, as our focus this week in our daily readings is on honesty and integrity. 2 Corinthians chapter 1, verse 12. We can say with confidence and a clear conscience that we have lived with a God-given holiness and sincerity in all our dealings. We have depended on God's grace, not on our own human wisdom. This is how we have conducted ourselves before the world, and especially toward you. 2 Corinthians 4, 2. We reject all shameful deeds and underhanded methods. We don't try to trick anyone or distort the word of God. We tell the truth before God, and all who are honest know this. In the Old Testament, Job 33, verse 3 and 4. I speak with all sincerity. I speak the truth, for the Spirit of God has made me, and the breath of the Almighty gives me life. Titus 2, 7 is our memory verse this week. And you yourself must be an example to them by doing good works of every kind. Let everything you do reflect the integrity and seriousness of your teaching. If you don't have a Life Transformation Bible from a live church, we'd love to send you one. Let us know by sending an email to office at alivechurch.com. Enjoy your day and be sure and tell a friend about these readings.